My name is Andrea Glenn. I currently teach AP World History at Millican High School. As a history teacher, I'm always trying to find that balance between teaching content and teaching the historical thinking skills. I want them to not just know the content, but also know what to do with that content once they have it. Khan Academy fits so well with the content aspect of it. Pick one or two of those themes and then use that to do your comparison. It reinforces the information that they're learning from the textbook. It shows them visually things that I was talking about in class. It provides them additional information or key vocabulary to the video clip that we watched in class. So it, it integrates well with all of the other styles of teaching that I'm already implementing in the classroom. Yeah? Perfect. Okay, somebody else? The students that are more visual learners will be drawn to the videos that they can watch on Khan. The students that you know are really strong readers will focus on more of the articles. So it allows them to kind of choose which way they're internalizing and interpreting this information. My process for figuring out how I can implement Khan Academy into my existing lesson plans was really just to look at, okay, overall, what are all of the things that I'm trying to cover um, in this unit. And with unit one in AP World History, I went on to Khan Academy and I looked to see, okay, do they have these five major civilizations that I know I want to cover in my content? And so I, I found the five that I wanted and then they used Khan Academy resources, the articles and the videos to figure out all of the spice themes that we use in here, the social, political interactions with the environment, cultural and economics of each of those civilizations. Okay. So on a typical day, I might want them to understand the process of writing a long essay question. They've already taken the notes on what's expected in this very, very specific type of writing. They know what is supposed to go into it, but they need to practice how they write those sentences, how they put that together, how they infuse the content into the prompt. When they click on AP World History, it's divided into the units of time. So they can click on those units of time to help them find this research that they can use to answer the prompts that they were given. Then they can practice the skill of long essay question writing. Rather than just spending a day lecturing, they were researching these things on their own and then showing me back what they learned. It was really an, a, a really great opportunity for me to walk around and see exactly where each student was uh, struggling, where their weaknesses were, where they were excelling, and kind of support students in a more one-on-one -on -one basis. In the last couple of years, I had seen Khan Academy used as an SAT or PSAT prep program. I've seen a lot of students use it in math and building their math skills, um, but this is the first year that I'm using it as an AP World History teacher. And what I noticed is in the first exam where I was using Khan Academy more, I saw a 20% increase in the average grade from this year's class versus last year's.